Hello children. In this video, we are going to learn about our mineral resources. What do you mean by mineral resources? In, our, in your previous lessons, you have learned about the different industries. What are the different types of industries that are there in our country? Now, to make a finished good in those industries, we require some kind of raw material. Right, children? Yes. Now, from where do we get those raw materials? How do we get? Yes, it is available in our nature. It is there in our nature. They are all our natural resources. But we do not get them in the pure form. First, it is available in the raw form. Then it is purified and then it is used to make other things. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about the different mineral resources that are available. First, we will learn what do you mean by mineral resources? What are minerals? All rocks on the earth are made up of natural substances called minerals. Minerals are natural substances found deep inside the earth. They are taken out by the process of mining. There are many rocks on the earth surface, right children? Now, when you look around, you can find different sizes and different rocks. But do you know that in some of those rocks, there are some kind of minerals? Yes, when we see at them, we cannot make out what is there, what kind of mineral is there in that rock. Yes, all rocks on the earth are made up of natural substances called minerals. Minerals are natural substances found deep inside the earth. They are taken out by the process of mining. Mining means what children? Digging into the deep surface of the earth, making a hole. Minerals are formed over a period of millions of years in the earth's crust. It doesn't take one or two years or few hundreds of years, but it takes millions of years to form those minerals in the crust of the earth, earth's crust. A rock that contains a large amount of a particular mineral is called the ore of that mineral. Now, a big rock which contains a particular single mineral then that rock is called, said to be called as ore. Ore means the uh, resource, the main resource of getting that mineral from that rock. An ore is a mineral or combination of minerals from which a useful substance such as a metal can be extracted and used to manufacture a useful product. Most ores are found deep below the surface of the earth. Some are found on the surface and some at the bottom of the sea. Can you see in the picture, children? Yes. What can you see in that picture? People are digging deep into the ground of the earth. Yes. Small hole means yes, they can do easily. But to make, to go very, very deep, many kilometers under the uh, earth they have to work very hard more most ores are found deep below the surface of the earth some are found on the surface and some at the bottom of the sea what is the meaning of bottom of the sea under the water can you see in the pictures children here yes under the sea under the water here also we get some minerals but this has to be brought up right now there is also a process if you look at the picture carefully then you will understand have a look at the picture yes how it is being brought up to the surface of the water now and this is one more on the surface of the earth they have told you have read just now. Minerals are found on the surface of the earth. 
below the earth and under the sea. So this is on the surface. When the rock is being drilled and taken out, the mineral is taken out, the place looks like this. Digging out ores from under the ground is called as mining. Digging out ores. Digging out ores means making a hole into the rock and then taking out, extracting, taking out the minerals from the ground is called as mining. A place first looks like this. When people find that, yes, this is the place where we can get the particular mineral. Then when they, after they do the mining and extracting of that mineral from that place, then afterwards the place looks like this. This is the picture before and after. The process of mining involves digging the earth at certain places to take out the minerals. The places from where these minerals are taken out by digging is known as a mine. India is rich in mineral resources. There are many mineral resources that are found in our country. And can you see here? What can you see in this picture, children? First picture. Yes, people taking out, digging out coal. This coal we find in and deep under the earth, very, very deep. So people, when they go dig deep into the ground, earth crust, then they take out, they extract the coal and then it is brought up to the surface of the earth. This is called as mining and where people do this mining, that place is called as mine. Now here in this mine, we they are doing, they are taking out coal. So it is called as coal mine. Types of minerals. There are different types of minerals. Minerals are broadly divided into two types, metallic minerals and non-metallic minerals. Now, what is the meaning of metallic minerals and non-metallic minerals? Metal. You all know what is a metal. Metal is a hard substance. For example, the gates, the grills, uh, and the plates, the utensils, what you use, all these are made out of some or the other kind of metal and they are very hard. That is called as metallic mineral. And non-metallic minerals means which are not hard, but which we get from the under, uh, under the earth, from below the earth and deep inside the earth, just like this gold, precious stones, limestone, coal, petroleum, and copper, all this. This gold, copper, they, uh, they are example of metallic minerals. And these precious stones, limestone, coal, petroleum, these are examples of non-metallic minerals. Here, there is, here is a list of some minerals that are found in our country and the states in which uh, we find these minerals and for what use, why do we use them? We have iron ore. Iron ore, we find them in the states of Jharkhand, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Karnataka, Goa. And this iron ore is used to make tools, utensils, machines, bridges, and railway engines. And then there is copper. Copper, we find in the states of Jharkhand, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh. And it is used to make tools, utensils, and electrical wires. If you have ever seen electrical wires in your home, when you wipe, uh, uh, outer cover is there that is covered with the plastic one, uh, fiber, right? But inside there will be copper wires in it. If you have ever seen that, you can ask your parents and you can see. Manganese. Manganese is found in the states of Karnataka, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Goa. And manganese is used to make steel and various alloys. Alloys means when two or more metals are mixed to make a new one. 
Next is bauxite. Bauxite we find in our country in the states of Jharkhand, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, and Goa. And bauxite is uh, from aluminium. Aluminium. Have you uh, ever heard uh, uh, the word aluminium? Yes, aluminium is a light metal which will be in silver in color, right? Aluminium is extracted from bauxite and it is used to make aeroplanes. That is the reason why though the aeroplanes are so huge, very big, but still it is very light because it is made of aluminium and aluminium is a lighter metal compared to iron and other metals. Utensils and other household items. Utensils are the things that what your mummy use in the kitchen. Next is gold. Gold is found in Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh, in the states of Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. And <coughs> gold is used to make jewelry. And next comes the non-metallic minerals. Non-metallic minerals means which are not hard metals. They are not hard substances. Limestone. Limestone is used to make cement. You all know what is cement and what is the use of cement is yes, construction in building buildings in constructing buildings right yes and the states where this limestone is found madhya pradesh jharkhand chhattisgarh telangana and odisha next is coal and coal is used as a fuel it is found in the states of jharkhand west bengal madhya pradesh chhattisgarh tamil nadu next is the petroleum and natural gas yes you all know you all might have heard petroleum and natural gas now petrol is used as a fuel to run vehicles and natural gas yes both are used as a fuel and it is found in the states of assam gujarat maharashtra uh, maharashtra off coast of the mumbai that means away from the coast of maharashtra in the middle of the arabian sea Natural gas is found along with mineral oil in oil fields. It is used as a fuel in the form of compressed natural gas, that is CNG, to run vehicles. This is Mumbai High. The picture, can you see? Yes, this is called as Mumbai High. It is an oil field situated off the coast of Mumbai in the Arabian Sea. The mineral reserves of the earth are limited. They cannot last forever. Once used, they get exhausted, they get extinct, they get over. So we must use these available mineral reserves very carefully. Thank you, children.